long as you say. Oh, that's long enough, so you've got to know it nicely, yeah. It's in nice condition, isn't it? Okay. I've been sitting for 15 years. Right, okay. Yeah, so did it need a bit of recommissioning, they say, don't they? You know, yeah, yeah, seals and stuff. A lot, a lot, no, and the new gearbox. Oh, right, okay. I never said I've got an overdrive. Oh, lovely, yeah. It was very low mileage. Yeah. And what overdrive? First, second, and third, second, third, and fourth? Second, third, and fourth. That's right, yeah, I remember it now, yeah. Like Clive's. Wow. Of course, they make such a lovely noise, these cars, don't they? Ah, oh, Barini wire wheels, and you got the tonneau on? Yeah. Oh, I used to sit under those when it was cold. I was only a kid at the time when we used to blast around in Clive's. And great fun we had too. And, uh, so he got rid of it, did he? Well, yeah, he, he, he's had loads of cars. It's not that he hasn't had amazing cars, but, you know, at the time it was bought to be the quickest he could afford. So he was into the speed as much as the classic cars in those days. And at the time, the GTIs were just starting to come out. Within a few years, they were, you know, leaving these behind. But but initially, these kept up for a bit. Yeah. Used to guzzle the fuel. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I can't remember. I think it's about 5,000 quid or 3,000 quid, but he put a lot of money into it. But, um, yeah. He had the little pop-up vent there where you've got a little... So his was a pre-73. Yeah, so 150 brake. Yeah. Didn't have the spoiler at the front, but uh, it was lovely. But they are, they're, I, I, you know, I, I love TR6s. I think uh, I haven't I haven't filmed one proper on my um, channel yet, and uh, I ought to really, because they've got a, uh, I've got a real soft spot for them, well, and they sound a, so lovely. You've got a um, vlog channel? Yeah, I've Max Machines on YouTube. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>